most men date the wrong type of women. So on my last video, I was looking at some of the comments. I mean, I could reply to all of them. It's just, you know, that's going to take a lot of time and effort and I got other things I need to do. But I wanted to make a video about this because I know in today's generation, men are becoming more aware of the dating scene and just the way how female nature is, which is understandable. You know, everybody can have their own opinion on it. And, you know, you have the free speech. You can say whatever you want. Uh, just little preference that I would prefer if you guys are going to comment on my videos, you know, just keep it clean and professional. Um, you can say whatever you want. Just, you know, be respectful. But anyways, going to today's video subject of men choose the wrong type of women. So this is something that I noticed is a lot of you guys were kind of like, here's the thing. I'm in a relationship and, you know, I do understand where some of you guys are coming from, like about the female nature. Oh, this is going to happen to you or whatever it is. But the thing is, it's because you're choosing the wrong type of women. That's the reason why there's videos out there on the Internet. It's because from what I've seen, uh, the type of field that I work in, uh, a lot of the guys are married and, you know, they're in healthy relationships for the most part. You know, they're going out, they're doing activities with their wives. And, you know, I haven't really heard about some of these guys getting into divorces, not since I've been working with them, but they have been in previous divorces. So, you know, I do understand where you guys are coming from. It's like, I'm not ignoring it, but I'm acknowledging it but it's not always the case the situation can vary from person to person the thing that i kind of understand you know looking at some of my co-workers the ones that i work with is they get married too young they don't date people as long as you know they should they find out oh okay i like this person and they're like i should settle down with them that's not usually the case and i'm going based off of my own personal experience if you guys didn't know i was in a five-year relationship and from what I saw is somebody that you truly, truly think, you know, can be a completely different person at the end of the day. And you never truly know who they are. The only person that you can honestly say you truly know and trust is yourself. And so that's just a piece of, the, of advice that I've noticed. So like with my current girlfriend, you know, the relationship I think is going well. I mean, it could be different from her perspective. It's just something that I kind of noticed. But the thing is, I realize the type of women that are interested in me. And once you understand it's like, oh, OK, uh, this type of woman is interested in you or, you know, you get along with this certain type of woman. Your relationships are going to go pretty smooth because like a lot of one of the comments, it was pretty much talking about like, you know, I'm going to spend money and, you know, like I'm going to put in all the work and the effort, which, you know, in my last relationship, I would say that is very true. But in my current relationship, honestly, like for my birthday. So this is something I'll give you guys a little bit of a story. So this was when I first first started dating my girlfriend. I believe we started talking in, De in December and then, you know, January was when we started the relationship and then February was pretty much, you know, my birthday. And essentially she ended up buying a trip, you know, for me for my birthday. I was like, whoa, I barely even know this chick. And, you know, we did a trip, which that was a trip because like essentially we ended up staying at like, I don't know, like this little like small tiny house. You've seen like those Connex boxes, those uh, sea cans. Essentially, it was a tiny house and we stayed there and it was a little sketchy. I was like, whoa, if uh, dude, I'm going to go missing. But anyways, you know, she was able to plan this whole trip and it was a really nice experience. And it tripped me out just because I barely even knew this chick. And then a year later, you know, she planned another trip for my birthday. We ended up going to Houston. We ended up spending a night at this Airbnb, which again, there was another crazy story. You know, the Airbnb was a little bit sketch. Um, but that was just something that kind of happened, you know, all these trips that we have done, they were really interesting. And so, you know, that's what makes it memorable. But however, I do understand the female nature of, you know, the way how relationships can go south real quick, because I know from that five year it went south. And then I got into another relationship, which I had things here and there in between, but that second relationship made me understand that this person that I was dating, I wasn't compatible with. And this is something that I noticed, like 
So when you're in somebody, uh, when you're in a relationship and you have really good company, you know, you should be doing things together. You should be, be enjoying each other's presence. You should be having a great time for the most part. Of course, there are going to be bad times, but that's just part of relationships. You guys understand. So, you know, that relationship, I felt alone. I felt isolated. I felt like I didn't have anybody there that I can talk to. I can vent to, you know, just explain, hey, you know, this is something that I'm struggling with. With my current relationship, it feels very similar to that five year relationship before it ended. So, you know, I'm aware of, hey, this is what a relationship should feel like. This is the way how, you know, things that you should pay attention to. And I understand that. So the vast majority of guys out there that are getting divorced, you know, their relationships just, you know, something happens. There's always some sort of drama. It's because they are choosing the wrong types of women. And you got to understand that it's really hard to find a diamond in the rough. A lot of guys, honestly, like they'll go based off of looks. And the thing you got to understand is you can't always be going based off of looks. I'd much rather have a seven that's, you know, on the, what is it, attractive skill versus a 10 that has no personality. So it's much better to choose a person that has a personality of a nine or a 10, which in all being realistic, finding that 10 is going to be really, really rough. You'll probably find nines, but the thing is what i'm trying to emphasize is go based off personality then the physical attraction that should be your second priority a lot of guys they have it backwards they have it where they want the attraction the physical attraction first then they don't even care about the personality or they don't even have any preference on that which in my own personal experience i noticed that women that are like tomboyish a little bit the relationships are a whole lot smoother like that first relationship and my current relationship, they're very, very similar. I mentioned this to my girlfriend that, you know, she reminds me in some ways that they're very, very similar. Like, you know, they're both into superheroes, but the types of superheroes that they're into are very different. You know, they both like working with their hands. They like hands on work for their jobs and all that. And it's just something that I kind of noticed. There's little things here and there, like similarities that, you know, they both like animals so there's very specific traits that i noticed that oh you know this is what is common from that relationship to my present re relationship and if my girlfriend you're watching this you end up watching one of my videos and you click on this one i'm not trying to compare you i'm just trying to explain it to my viewers so they kind of understand that hey you know you're gonna attract certain types of people and people are very similar so guys understand that you know certain behaviors are very similar too so you look at the vast majority of people you'll, you're gonna see things just kind of repeat people have the same interests they have the same hobbies you know they might have the same type of work and you'll notice that this is also a psychology thing so the people you surround yourself by i believe it's like the top five people you're going to become like them so it's just something that just kind of happens naturally so Anyways, going back to our original point, be careful with who you let into your life, especially relationships, because they can head south and, you know, you, they can really, you know, set your life back. I wouldn't say ruin it because at the end of the day, if you're a strong person, you will succeed. You will make your life better. But if you're somebody that can't handle it, can't handle the stress, you know, can't solve problems, yeah, you really need to be careful of who you let into your life because, you know, most people, they don't worry about their friends. You know, they don't worry about the relationships that they get into. And it's something that you really need to pay attention to and focus. The other thing I want to mention is most guys don't get a woman that is beneficial to their life. Guys, understand that you should be on your purpose. You should be on your mission. Or if not, you should have hobbies and you're girlfriend or whoever you're bringing into your life you know they should have somewhat uh similar interests as you but they should also be helping you out on your goals your ambitions your hobbies and going based off that five year relationship that i had i noticed that my ex was really being supportive she was willing to help me out but you know things didn't work out just because of several reasons maybe i'll do a video on that but 
my current relationship, my current girlfriend, she's been helping me out. She knows I've been wanting to look a little bit better. So she's been offering, hey, you know, I'll make you some food or whatever. And I actually took her up on that offer. And so I think for like, what, the past two, three months, I've been having home cooked meals and they're really good. You know, she actually enjoys it because she's learning, hey, you know, this is how you make this new meal. So she's kind of experimenting too. I mean, there's been a couple times I get some meals and they weren't the best, but you know, I know she's putting in the work to help me out and I greatly appreciate that. There's other things that she's helped me out on. You know, there's times that I get busy like, hey, I need to help cleaning up my car. We're gonna go hang out with my friends and we're gonna take my car. And she'll be like, oh, okay. And she'll help me clean up my car, help me vacuum it, help me pick up the trash or whatever it is. And she's just real supportive. So most guys, they don't get somebody that helps them out in their day-to-day -day basis. You know, it's not something I'm saying you need it but it's just an additional benefit. And then it also shows you that, hey, when the times get a little bit rough, you know, they will be there for you. There's been plenty of times that I've been there for my girl. You know, there's times that she's gotten sick or she's gone to the hospital and you know what, I'm there, she's a priority. It's just something that you guys kind of learned with relationships. If you truly do care about somebody, you know, you will do whatever you can to help them out. Anyways, guys, I want this video to be a little bit shorter. Maybe I'll do a part two. Maybe I'll bring my girlfriend in on this YouTube video if I do make a part two. But anyways, don't forget to smash that like button and I'll go ahead and catch you guys on the next one.